welcome to 17,000 flavors of Indonesia. Indonesia. All right. What we are going to do. Um, and we're going to do something called uh, Perkadel today. Yeah, we're going to do something <coughs> called Perkadel today. It's and it, good it, it's really just, uh, it's a, a sweet corn fritter that we do at the restaurant. And, and, and today we're going to do the non-vegan version <coughs> because we're going to use eggs. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, and we do this as an appetizer um, at the restaurant and you can use the uh, sweet soy sauce Indonesian style and some sambal if you like the spice in it. Um, but it, it's just a munchie and they're very good with, uh, uh, because we do use the sweet corn. So we, uh, we've got our uh, sweet corn here. We're going to add to it. Okay, so we have a rice flour here. Okay. Okay. And then we have, okay, let's do two spoons of rice flour. So this is like four, how many did you make it? Uh, maybe like four cups of, um, of sweet corn. Yeah, I, I do one. I do two <coughs> spoons for rice flour. Okay. And then another teaspoon for wheat flour. If you don't want a wheat flour, it's okay, one. Um, you can use a gluten free. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna mix that up a little bit and I've got my gloves on. So this also might be something fun that the kids can help you with um, you can, if you're yeah. um, in the house. It's almost like Play-Doh and squeeze it to get the, the juices going out of the, the sweet corn and mixing yeah. it with the rice flour and the wheat flour. And then we have uh, shallot. If you don't have shallot, you can use onion. Yeah. So I'm just going to keep squeezing while he's putting those ingredients in. So did you used to have this when you were a kid in Indonesia? Yeah, my mom used to make this uh, just for munching, especially uh, during the rain season because when a rain season you have a lot of corn mm. but you don't know what you're going to do with the corn. So we were like, okay, what are we going to do with the corn? Okay, let's make percadel, then we munch. It's called rainy season with percadel jagung. Okay. And by the way, his mom is amazing. Um, I did have a chance to meet her one time. She's since passed away, but um, she made me feel very at home. And so um, celery, celery, celery. So celery. she cooks really well. Celery, celery. So that's where Abi got his ability. To, to cook amazing food. And then it was definitely genetic and his mom passed it on to him. We can use bumbu puti. We use this, <coughs> bumbu puti. One spoon here. Or two spoon, doesn't matter. Because you always uh, taste it. Okay, let's do two spoon. Okay. And egg, maybe we just need one egg, it's enough. <coughs> huh? All right, so one egg. we're almost finished mixing it. And then we need salt. We're gonna use a uh, chicken broth. This one. Gluten-free gluten -free again. Gluten-free chicken base. Yes, yes. Because we already, because this is non-vegan, because we use eggs, <laughs> so we just use the chicken too. <laughs> okay, you wanna try a little bit? Uh, mix it. And then don't forget your white pepper mm. put the white pepper there. okay it goes with your hand yeah more, more 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 i like white pepper stop it's got a different flavor than uh, regular black pepper it's very nice can you squeeze more yes i'm going to Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Ah, ah. Okay, maybe I'm gonna put one more uh, rice flour because I want them to s stay together. Bind together. And then it's crunchy, but inside it's not. Uh, inside it's soft, but the outside is crunchy. This is the rice flour. Mm. 
Okay. And we're going to um, heat up the oil. It, I would say in a pan, maybe like a half an inch of oil. Oh yeah, if you want to put the onion too, it's okay. I'm going to put onion there. Sure. Because we have shallot, we have onion already there. I'm going to put another egg. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Yeah, don't put it when it's too hot because it'll pop. Yeah. Okay. Frying up really well. Um, turn it nice and crispy. I like them a little crunchy. Um, some people might like them a little uh, softer, but they are amazing. Just be careful when you uh, fry this because the, the corn, how do you call that bit? Huh? Yeah, will pop. So I'll put a little sambal and some of the sweet soy sauce on the plate. These are perfectly cooked. Woo. Amazing. These are going to be so nice and crunchy. And the sweetness of the corn is going to come out and pop in some of that sambal spicy flavor. Okay, guys. Woo. We're going to try these. Um, I know they're, they're going to be uh, hot here. but uh, And I'm, of course I'm going to have to put some sambal on. Oh my god. It's too much sambal. Mm, no it's not. And of course my mouth is squirting. Mm. Done a little bit. So you can see your eyes. Mm. Oh wow. So the sweetness of the corn is just a, a perfect mix with uh with the sambal and the sweet soy mm -hmm. mm. Come on. Yeah. Mm. oh wow so good oh. they're still hot though uh -huh. but it's mm. a perfect snack mm. look at that crunchy mm. very soft inside mm. With the sambal and the sweet soy. Oh. Yeah, I heard there's a company for your rice. Mm. Oh, well. Guys, you'll never enjoy uh, a sambal like this ever anywhere else. It's, it's, it's just so good. Mm. It does. The bean is all of that. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Another one coming. Golden brown taste. Yeah. Definitely make sure that you let these cool for a moment. Yeah. Um, because they do retain their heat and and then when you cook this don't put in a very uh, or hot temperature yeah just put like in the middle temperature so it's like my dad used to cook when I was a little kid everything everything was on high and um, so this is just a nice comfortable even heat that just uh, that cooks them amazing all right then all right, so one Second more batch. show here. So good, and we're gonna probably finish these up. <laughs> They're hot. They're hot. Mmm. So a little sambal. Mmm. 
Mm. The spiciness, the sweetness, the crunchiness mixed together. Mm. <coughs> the celery in here, the uh, the shallots in here, and the scallions. It's just a uh, just an amazing combination of, of flavors. You'll you'll hear me saying that all the time with the different dishes that we do and the seasonings because it's just um, um, an incredible combination of, of unique flavors and it just continues to surprise me every time I eat something. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to try this at home. Easy uh, dinner, snack, lunch, whatever you want it to be. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Yeah. So, thank you guys for watching again. Uh -huh. Remember to like our video, subscribe to our channel, please. Share. And share with others, your friends, family, whomever. Mm -hmm. And always remember, make the, the world, world tastier. Bye-bye. Have a good day.